Hello there. Alrighty, so today I'm gonna show you a neat little trick um, with, you may be familiar and maybe, maybe not, or maybe it's just a good reminder. Um, double stick tape and a piece of cardstock. I've got a trading card size, art trading card size, which is two and a half by three and a half. Um, it says perler beads on the back because when my grandkids were little, then I cut up a bunch of these and I'll, whenever they would say, Grandma, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. Then I'd say, pull out the deck of cards, the idea cards. And I had idea cards for them of all their different toys and puzzles and games and whatever, and reading time and whatever. And I wrote them down on papers and they could go through and pick. They could each pick a card and we'd do all three things and they loved choosing. So, all right, so now that you know that, my whole life history, <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this double stick tape and I'm gonna Go around all four edges. This is an, a fun little tip. <clears throat> and this is wonderful for birthdays and Christmas for different holidays. This is a great holiday tip. All right, there we go. So now we've got those on. Let's burnish them down. Alrighty, and then I need my little pokey, my pokey tool, and we need to peel these release papers off. All right, there we go. Put that in there, move this out of the way. Then we just choose what color glitter. Let's see, I've got glitters and sands. Sand, this is sand, 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 which is kind of cool. All right, these are all sand on that side. These are all the glitters. All right, these two are glitters too. All right, good to know, okay. So, well, you know what, let's do, this blue would be gorgeous up against this green, let's do this. All right, so we gotta carefully take the lid off. Alrighty, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle it down wherever that tape is. There. Then we're gonna take the paper. I don't like to rub my finger because I've already got some on my fingers. So what I like to do is just fold the paper over like so and then just give it a little massage there through the paper because that will adhere that down really good so hardly any of it will fall off once you clean it up because if you adhere it like this you're really doing a good job all righty now where's my little toothbrush i need my toothbrush or brush brush oh my cat's been playing with brushes over there he probably grabbed my toothbrush that stinker that's okay i'll have to use this one This will work. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and tip it up. We're gonna knock it off. And now we're just gonna gently brush all four edges. And then we're gonna be a little bit more rough this time. That came out pretty darn good, okay. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna take this, pat that in together, dump this right back in there. It's ama it really amazes me these little vials of, of glitter and sand that I've had for years, and I bought them at the Dollar Tree probably back in the 90s, and they're still, it's not, I don't use them every week by all means, but. There's still quite a bit in there because every time I use it, then you pour some out and then you pour it back in and it, and I, and it loosens it up again. So it looks like it's a filled bottle again. <laughs> kind of like magic. All right, so there you go. Look at what we've created. A framed piece of cardstock. Is that cool or what? So that is my tip for today is you can create card frames by using your double stick tape and glitter or the colored sand.
Isn't that neat? You can also use your, your, um, the gold foil, the gilding flakes rather. Yeah, you could use gold foil too, but the gilding flakes. So, but isn't that pretty? I really do like that. So now I can take this and I can put, I can decorate it. I can either stamp an image or glue an image in there, or I could stamp or glue a verse in there and then use that to apply it to a card. Isn't that neat? Alrighty, so let me put this back away. And, um, let's see, let's go ahead and make this into a card. Why not? Okie dokie, so I need a card, and I thought I cut some yesterday. I know I did. Where did I put them? In here. Yes, right in there. All right. That's going to be pretty. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I love it. All righty. So... What are we gonna put on that? Let's see, how about, and I wanna find some a background paper that'll match that. So blue or green, let's see. I've got some blues and greens in my envelope here. Love that one. That's kind of nifty looking. Huh. Is there a bigger piece in here? this piece that has the green and the blue that might ooh that matches even better all right I think I'm gonna use that one that's really nice okay let's put this back green. all right so we got to finish trimming this So let's go ahead and glue this one down. So have you ever seen this glitter frame done before? It's pretty fun, isn't it? up there and if I cock it over to the side then I don't have to worry about making sure it's perfectly straight all right so do I want to stamp something on there maybe that is an idea you know what yeah let's stamp this and this cute little bumblebee that would be cute why not I thought of something nice today you yeah let's do that okay so maybe a dark Dark green. I've got a dark green. Let's see. Library. Emerald. Yeah, the library green is a nice dark one. Okay, we'll do that. And we'll just put this right here. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. And then this adorable bumblebee. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> that's so cute all right I like that then I can leave these out so I can do on the inside of the card when I'm done all right so all we have to do is glue this down now and this is a nut this again is is why I love doing trading cards because you can make these little I uh, focal points and then just plop them on on a I almost said tree front <laughs> on a card front. So simple and fun. Isn't that adorable? I thought of something nice today. You. I like that. Alrighty. So we could do another strip of glitter on the inside, but since it's going to the seniors, I'm not going to do that. So that way, if they don't want to get dirty with the glitter, then it's not on the inside. But I think I will do the same verse and the bumblebee. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp a border using the bumblebee there that is cute and then we can go ahead and I'm gonna cock this over to the side too there that's adorable all right ta-da what do you think of that huh there now I'm thinking I wonder what that would look like there a little bit of green on there why not
perfect. Close that up and we are done. Check it out. So there's the idea. That's the tip for today is doing the, the double stick tape border. And then I've made it into a card. So I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try. Pull out that double stick tape. And if you don't have double stick tape, you can do it also with a glue stick. You just have to put a piece of paper along the edge so that you can block off and you get a straight edge. And then you just run the glue stick up and down a couple times and then you remove the paper, turn it, lay the paper back down, glue stick up and down. You can also do the same thing with your tacky glue. So, and that's, you just put it on you put a piece of paper down to make an edge, put the tacky glue down, use your finger, rub it up and down. Same thing, go all the way around. Okay, so use what you have and enjoy this tip. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.